Hi traders, welcome to this demonstration of the FX Argo Trader Advanced Moving Average Crossover System. What we have here is a Euro dollar 15 minute chart and I've got two moving averages on this chart which are a 10 period simple moving average in blue violet and also a 5 period simple moving average in white. And I'm not going to go into the specifics of uh, any trading systems which use moving average crossovers, but I'm just going to talk about the FX Algo Trader moving average crossover indicator and how that works in conjunction with moving average crossovers. So if we load the moving average crossover indicator onto this chart, we can see here we've got a range of external input parameters and what I've got here is a fast period and slow period moving average and what I've done is I've used the same parameters as the moving average indicators which I've displayed previously the blue and the white lines which we talked about originally and all I'm going to do is make sure that my moving average crossover indicator matches uh, the moving averages which we're actually analyzing so we may need to make sure our MA method, moving average method, is the same, and we're using an SMA, a simple moving average, so that means the MA method must be zero. Uh, and we're using the applied price, which is on close, so let's just check, uh, go back again, and make sure that we are applying those moving averages on close prices. So let's just have a quick look, yes. So the 10 period is applied to the close, and in the same way, the five period is applied to the close. So that means that these crossover points that we're seeing here, which the FX algo trader indicator is, is telling you, coincide with the moving average crossovers we've seen on this chart. So let me just turn the update facility off and then we just go back and we can look at all the times where we've seen a moving average crossover and the indicator then alerts us uh, using a, an arrow and we can configure all these kind of things if we want to. So, for example, let's go back to the internal, sorry, the external input parameters. We can obviously vary the moving average periods and obviously the methods, the applied price. We can shift moving averages if we want to. Uh, and we can alert based upon whether the, the actual crossover was printed or not. If you're not sure what that means, for a crossover to actually print, you can see here, and this, this is a good example actually, you can see here the white line, the fast period moving average is constantly moving. Um, it's, just being, it's just adapting up and down and it won't actually remain solid until this bar, which is for this candle, which is forming here on this 15 minute chart is complete. So the indicator allows you to alert based upon crossovers which have actually happened i.e. printed crossovers or crossovers which may happen because this crossover which we're seeing here hasn't actually been printed yet. So for example, if price action comes down aggressively from here, you may see that white um, fast moving at five period moving average being pulled down and actually not um, forming a physical crossover. So be careful if you are using indicators to alert you on, on crossovers because if it's just a temporal crossover, i.e. the crossover hasn't actually formed physically, then it may not actually be a crossover at all. So that option within the indicator, which is alert on printed X, allows you to control whether they're printed or whether they're just temporal crossovers. You can have a pop-up alert if you wish to. You can also have an email alert and the email alert will use the email settings in the MT4 email tab. And to go and look at those, you just go to your tools tab in MT4 on the top ribbon, go to options, and then you can see the email settings there and um, you'd need to fill those out accordingly. <clears throat> I'm using my personal uh, Yahoo account there. And other things that we can do with the indicator. So we've run through up to email alerts. We can control the number, the maximum number of alerts. So in this case, I've told the system I only want to receive five alerts because you'll receive an alert every time there's a tick on the chart. 
and you don't want to be you know receiving 60 70 80 alerts every time um, there's a tick and obviously that will depend on the chart time frame as well uh, the alert reset time uh, is based upon minutes so we're saying here that the maximum number of alert counter will reset every minute and you need to control that depending on the chart time frame you're using and again the auto reset on new bar function will reset the alert counter when a new bar is received so these kind of work uh, in conjunction with each other you can change the um, the arrow styles um, use, these are windings codes here and again that's in the data sheet you can then see a range of other parameters which you can or, or objects which you can use um, and that's kind of it um, that's basically the advanced MA crossover indicator explained just on the common tab you need to make sure you've got allowed DLL imports and allow external expert inputs ticked so essentially in a nutshell the MA cross advanced MA crossover indicator allows you to automate your uh, MA crossover alert capabilities and particularly using email alerts allows you to step away from the market and just reduce your screen time essentially so uh, there you go that's a, a quick overview of the MA crossover indicator thanks for watching